Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Hello, it's Tina and Donna. <laughs> and here we are with another uh, video from the Aunt Winky series, the Winky series. I, I don't know, Donna. Is this number like five or something? I think so. I think so. And uh, quite frankly, it's not the last video. <laughs> we were just discussing, are we even halfway there? Um, no. No. Close, but no cigar. All right, so I'm going to start this off. These pieces aren't um, uh, by the same maker. Uh, they're not, they're unmarked, um, and but um, they go so well together. I really love these pieces together. Um, let's see. Uh, this is an older. Let me see. This is an older uh, necklace because we have this hook arrangement. And then um, these are earrings that are pierced. pierced. They're on, uh, oh, this one, this one's seen somewhere, both of them. I wonder if they're supposed to be that way. The posts are, are downward, and I wonder if that's to keep them from drooping mm -hmm. um, on your ear. So um, I just think these go really well together. So um, let's go ahead and take a closer look. These are, I just really, I just really don't think that they're um, stone. I think they're plastic, a, a heavier plastic, because it's just not as cold as stone would be. Stone um, maintains a cold feeling, um, even when it's in a, a, a regular room setting, you know. Um, it doesn't have to be sitting outside and you bring it in and it's cold. It can be cold just in your house um, setting. Um, and the stones remain cold or cool to the touch. So this is really nice. I love this um, necklace. It's an older uh, necklace that I need to be gentle with. You know these... Um, lengths you have to do a little bit of finagling and then you get it back to where it needs to go so um this is a hook and to me this just means it's older these are cast these aren't pressed out of metal sheet um there's substantial lengths uh, silver tone and it's um Quite lovely, and these earrings I think go well with it. And these are, to me, these are like an enamel look, an enamel earring, black and white, very cool. All right, and then my lovely assistant Donna has <laughs> been um, getting these all ready for me to show you. Um, here's another necklace, which is uh, similar to a necklace that we just saw. Um, it's very lightweight. We've got these like filigreed bead caps and um, this chain uh, with uh, faux pearl that um, they are plastic and uh, so are these. So it's all very lightweight and just really pretty. Um, We've got the multiple strands here in between uh, these bead stops for the chain. And um, just a really cool piece. Um, and it's in really good shape. It's in very good shape. Uh, let me take a look. And it is a C clasp, so it's an older necklace. And I just look. Um, just because it gives me an idea of just how well Winky took care of her jewelry. These are older pieces. You find this in a secondhand store and you're gonna see that there's a lot of wear to those pieces that you find in secondhand stores. But these are like, you just, you know, she just took them off the shelf at the store. And, um, and I'm sure she wore that. Um, uh, she just wore it and took care of it. Now this one is um has got a little bit of material on it. It's kind of a sticky 
Um, it may be, uh, and I don't know, maybe she bought it at a secondhand store and maybe that's where they put the price sticker. It sort of feels like that. That can be, that would be easily cleaned um, with Goo Gone. And I think that's fine to use. Um, don't quote me if it's not. <laughs> and um, in this clasp, which is pretty. And it's uh, one of these, or so she thinks. Maybe not. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's one of these. You press in and it comes out of its uh, clasp. Uh, this is really cool. Um, all the rhinestones are present. Um, it's got like a bow feature here where they come together and and then it comes out in a little bow like it. And um, this just needs to be cleaned up. And the um, plating is, is really good. Um, yep. The plating is top notch. There's no wear. Um, it just really needs to be cleaned. And that's easy enough to do. All right, there you go, Donna. Donna has gotten so many of these together for me so that we can just look at them and move along. Um, there's just so much of it that I tend to run over longer than I want to, but um, that's okay. Y'all can just like, you know, put it on pause and go get a snack or something and then come back. So these are really cool. They look like, um, I don't know, this reminds me of the planet Saturn. But anyway, um, these are cool. Fashion earrings, um, faux pearl, uh, good shape. And it's kind of like um, a deeper gold color. And they are post, they're post earrings. And these would probably, you know, these would, I don't know, man. These would hang down and brush the tops of your shoulders, right? Um, so that's really cool. I like this a lot. It moves around and it's really pretty. Now this is really heavy. Um, and it looks like it needs to be polished. Uh, it doesn't. It's uh, not sticking to the magnet, any of this. Um, it's not marked that it's a precious metal. Um, so maybe it's, you know, just kind of plated. Um, I don't know what, I don't know. Stainless steel, is stainless steel, is that like would it stick to a magnet? And um, this is enamel. Um, here's the back. This is uh, a testament as to how heavy this pendant is. It's got two bales on it. Um, so, and it keeps it hanging uh, the way that the designer intended. So that's pretty cool. Um, just will need to go at it with um, a polishing cloth and we'll do that and see what, what it reveals to us. And, um, and I do have the metal testing kit that we'll be breaking out at some point um, to test. And then we'll, you know, we'll do a video where we show you all the things that are silver, I guess. I think that would be a good idea. So... There's that piece, and there's this one. Um, gold and pearls, gold and pearls. Um, there we go. This is really a nice feature. This is um, where all the, uh, houses all the links. This has a lot of wear on it. These pearls are almost no longer, some of them are no longer pearlescent. 
This must have been beloved. Here, let's show you. See, this is kind of what happens. This is a this is a plastic bead that's been coated uh, in a pearlescent um, sheen, and a lot of that has worn off. And it, that tends to happen when um, these beads are. Uh, brushing up against, like if the necklace uh, has the feature of faux beads and metal chain or metal pieces, then this is what happens. They, they um, over time and over wear while you've been wearing it and it, you know, as you move around uh, with your activities, it just gets these to sort of bang up against each other and it gives it some wear. And, you know, I'm not joking, but some people just really kind of like that, you know, that would have been something that we would have really, oh, and it's a, it's a company made this, we'll look into this, but, um, some people like that the pieces have wear and it looks like you're wearing your grandmother's piece. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, that's an actual aesthetic. Um, so, um, things don't have to be pristine, um, especially if you like the design and you like that it looks like it's an old heirloom piece. It's just kind of like, I don't know, I guess we would have done that when we were younger for like the punk era sort of thing. So let's take a look at this. This is a, um, marked piece. Now we know that, well, it's just really hard for me. There we go. Let's bring this up here. Let's take a look and see if you and I can see what's going on. Okay. Um, Kramer. It's a Kramer piece. Yeah, that's an older company. Um, I have a book on uh, costume jewelry and Kramer is mentioned. A lot of these companies um, were created uh, late 1800s, early 1900s, and um, and they were created because the only people that were able to have um, jewelry were the really wealthy, and they were made out of you know semi-precious stones, precious stones, and precious metals, and so especially during the 20s, um, uh, these companies came into existence, uh, like I said, as late as the 1800s, um, to provide to women um, pieces of jewelry that were uh, affordable. And uh, sometimes they could be knockoff looks from um, the famous um, designers, you know, of... Uh, the precious materials, and they would do knockoff looks uh, in costume jewelry um, using non-precious metals. Uh, Kramer was one of them. I don't know if they're still producing to this day, um, but it's a respected uh, costume jewelry uh, designer house. And um, it would just be, you know, um, the costume jewelry, of course, has looked different over the over the various um, eras of the wearing of jewelry. Um, and that's a pretty interesting bit to, uh, of history to sort of look into. Um, but yep, this is a Kramer piece and it's had some wear and tear, um, but it's still really gorgeous and it shows you. Um, just how cool uh, the costume jewelers uh, started making their own designs and they were uh, they were being very creative and very artistic so here's that piece a bit of a bit of history right there all right and then we have this piece all right this is very cool this is a multi-strand and um, you've got two different types of strands. Here we go. Let's get this so you can see it all. Another tassel. I think I think Winky really liked her tassels, and we already established yeah. 
before that she was a, a dancer. She liked to dance. She liked to go out and dance. And um, these would be, oh, this is, we've already seen this, Donna. It's the upside down ice cream cone. Oh, yes. Um, these would always be, these would all be like really pretty pieces to wear. And um, they would move around while, while you moved around. It probably felt good to wear them. Probably felt good on on her neck and and because um, she just she just loved to go out and move around. She liked to dance. So um, let's get you a closer look at these chains. All right, you've got this chain, and then you have a series of four of um, this chain. And it all comes together in a C clasp, so a little older. And um, this just looks like it's in really good shape. Um, doesn't look like a lot of wear. It's a it's a pretty substantial piece that's got some weight to it. Um, I don't know. I just think that's really pretty. And I'm sure I say that too much, but I just really I I like her choices. Uh, wow, this is so cool. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is so cool. And I know I say this every video, but she really liked uh, jewelry pieces that have move has, you know, movement to it like this. So um, this is very neat. Um, Nido Keen. Um, this has a tag. Um, and it's in a shape. So it's, um, it's this, uh, they're saying who they are. I just don't know what it stands for. Um, They are saying who they are with that shape. They being the um, designer, the company that designed it. All right. So this is this is very fluid. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. That's so cool. There we go. Very mm, fluid. Lots of movement. The um, knacker on the faux pearls is in really good shape and the plating is in really good shape. Oh, I like it. Like it's nice. All right. And that's the thing about the Winky collection because it's somebody's uh, personal collection. It's not like you're going to get uh, a Goodwill jar. Um, when you go to get a Goodwill jar and you get pieces that you may not care for. Right now, um, these are all like, these, these are all Aunt Winky's pieces and they are all very specific to her taste. And this is gorgeous. This is a choker um, with the ability to extend it to fit the right neck size. This is an older um, hook, and these are cast links um, that are substantial. And let me see, I'm kind of moving things around more than I should. There we go, and let's get up close, and you'll be able to see. Once I focus, um, this is textured. It's not pave. There's not little brilliance um, pave onto these X's. It's just the texture of the cast. So it kind of, you know, gives a, a look uh, like they're pave. Um, and this is really pretty cool. I like what they did. Um, putting these little join pieces here um, can only make it stronger. Uh, as far as a link goes so that they're, you know, without these join pieces, um, these links, these, these separate parts of the link could easily bend and get out of shape. But with this uh, right here, they won't. So 
Let's look at the back, see how substantial this is. And let's see, I don't see a maker's mark on this. This is this is kind of cool. This is um this is like a gold or copper look. Uh I don't know. I don't know if that's wear or not, or if that's, but it just, it does look like a, uh, to the naked eye. There we go. It does look a different color. And I think that's actually kind of cool <laughs> that it, it combines the two looks. Here's another snake chain. Um, it's a newer snake chain. It's a nice long one. It's perfect for placing a pendant on and um yeah put a couple of chains that were a little little different yeah yep this is uh the snake chain and then we've got this one with a very cool link and like i said i really like the snake chain because it just drapes really well in a gold tone and let's see I don't see any markings on this. And let's do a little bit of magnet work. I'm looking through my phone. All right, it doesn't stick. Um, this one does. So that's, it sticks just a little tiny bit. All right, and here's uh, like a braided chain link, a chain link, yeah, a chain link. So your chain link fences. All right, um, this is a braided look. These are all little links in a chain that have been done um, to look like they're braided. This is really pretty. Um, an older necklace. Uh, let's see, I don't really see. You guys are probably looking at that going, oh, I see a marking, but I don't, I don't really see a marking. So, um, like to say if this is gold filled or anything like that, we already established it's, it's a non-precious metal because it was magnetic, but, um, this is a very cool chain and we're not showing you all of the chains that Winky collected because she collected a lot, but um, she knew, I, I can't help but realize that she knew that um, chains are pretty important um, for uh, wearing on their own, like a larger chain like that, or for using to um, put your pendants on. Okay, this is kind of interesting. All it's right. a bit of a polish. It does. Okay, it doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know what accent. I mean, it's, uh, I'm trying to sound like I'm from England. Um, okay. There. That's showing it up a little bit better with just what little I did. And um, here's the pendant. There's the back. It's it's substantial weight. Um, it's very cool. It's simple. I am. It's newer, and it's got the multi uh, three chains. Um, I think this is a. I think this must have come together because it's a really good combination of the three chains with this piece. Huh. Nice. I like it. It's got a good weight to it. What are you? What are you? This is cool. Oh, interesting. What am I looking at? That's pretty cool. Um, older. Another piece that's like, um, oh gosh, <laughs> words fail me. Um, you know, a shiny finish <laughs> versus a textured finish. 
um, needs a little bit of loving care. Uh, has a little bit of wear, but um, this is very unique. I've uh, never seen anything like this before, and it's... Um, are those separate pieces? Or? Yeah, they are. They're separate links that are put together um, this way. You could choose, if you if you so desired, you could choose to have as many of these on as you like, because if you can see how this is done, you could um, take off links. Uh, but I'm not going to. And then uh, have this um, pendant feature as long as you wanted to, I guess, depending on how many of these individual link pieces you had. So, uh, yep, I like that. That's very sweet. Very sweet. <laughs> very cool. <laughs> Neat. Sweet. <laughs> oh, I get my, my words mixed up with each other. Uh, I don't know. This, I don't know. This sounds very, this looks kind of mod to me. Nice. Unique. All right. All right, Donna. There you go. Oh, nice. Another piece. Oh, that, oh, that's really cool. This has, um, this has textured gold, um, gold tone metal that um, sparkles. Textured drops that uh, looks like um, a hammering technique that we used to do when I was in the jewelry studio and uh, worked in the jewelry studio. And look, it's just, it's, um, it's very cool. And this is what it looks like on the back. Nice. I like that a lot. Um, and this is a great chain. Um, no doubt these came together. It doesn't have, oh, here it is. I was going to say it doesn't have a clasp, but it does. There we go. Sometimes necklaces just don't. Their, their chains are long enough that you can just um, slide them on over your head, but... I'm sure I'm not telling you anything you don't really already know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, very cool. I like it. Huh. Nice, nice Aunt Winky. <gasps> Something pink. This is sweet. Oh, how nice. It's a relatively, it's kind of new because a newer piece. It's uh, got a lobster clasp, lobster cl um, claw clasp, and um, it's got dangles here. These are plastic, faceted um, plastic beads um, that are really lightweight, and um, the, the uh, being faceted, they shoot off like a regular faceted stone. And it's um, link, looks like that. Nice. <laughs> this is very sweet. And here you go with the clasp. All right. Yep. <laughs> Yay. Kind of blends in with the pink of my <laughs> background, and I don't know. Um, we mentioned this before, and a, a few videos back now, but this is um this is one of Aunt Winky's scarves, and I just like to have it um, when I'm to sort of frame whatever I'm showing because yeah, this I think is we've her had scarf. It since the second video, we yes, it the, the second, second yeah, the second uh, dig in. That's right. <laughs> Oh, cool. There we have. This is very lightweight. Um, and chain. And um, housing a very lightweight cross. Uh-oh, I did, oh, I did the bad thing. 
Oh my, okay, almost. Almost did the bad thing with my uh, camera where I couldn't get it to focus. Oh. All right, and this um, this is nice. It's a sweet. It's sticky. It looks like a yep. leftover sticker on the back. Yeah, this could have been something that she picked up at a, a yard sale or at a secondhand store. But... Yep, it's all, it's just plastic that is, um, well, no, or or thin metal, um, non-precious metal. Sometimes they do use plastic pieces and they coat them to look like metal, but I think this is metal. Very sweet. Very sweet cross. Nice and lightweight. Oh, here we go. Jenny. Jenny. There we go. <laughs> Seriously, a perfect find for people whose name begins with the letter G. There we go. That's very cool. I like the um, the script uh, used for this G. There we go. Get that focused a little bit better. And this has some writing on it, so we're going to take a look at that. Let us zoom in, shall we? Let's bring it right up, and let's do that. Oh, this is Avon, Donna. Ah. Yep, it's an Avon. Let me turn this around so that people can read it and then refocus on it. It's an Avon piece. Can you all see that? Yeah. Yep. When you were a seller of Avon, Donna, did you ever purchase pieces for your family, for your mom, or something I that you liked? Remember. I don't remember that well. So that's a marked piece. All right. And then we have this pendant, the pearl. And this is not a marked piece. All right, nice. A little, uh, little bit longer than a, a choker. And in really good shape. Let's bring it up so you can see it easily. All right, let's get it focused. So this is what it looks like. This is a cabochon kind of shape a faux pearl cabochon and I don't think that's a mark nope that's just a little divot there we go nice it's very sweet classic and the knacker on here I don't know if you can tell um, it kind of shoots off blues and pinks um, Easily seen uh, off camera. And let's go with some, now for something completely different. Let's do some blue. Okay, older necklace. The mysterious stones. <laughs> yeah, we don't know if it's wood that's coated or if it's plastic. Because it doesn't feel like stone. It's not cool to the touch. Uh, not like a stone would. We'll have to get you like a stone, a uh, piece with a stone in it that you can feel. And um, you'll be able to feel how cold it is. Mm. Um, some of this, uh, looking here where some there's a little tiny bit of wear, it, um, it sort of looks like it's uh, wood underneath. But um, I think this would be heavier if it were. So I think this is um, plastic. It's a really beautiful blue color. Um, and uh, just a really nice piece. It's longer, you know. Uh, so that's, that's quite lovely. I know she liked her colors for sure, along with her sparkle. So there we go. And little silver tone beads. I like blue and silver together. Oh, cool. Um, this is a paisley look, right? Yeah. Um, and I was always, I always loved paisley uh, as a kid. 
you don't get to see this too often. At least I don't. I don't see it a lot. Um, and no marking. It's a, um, a good long chain. And you've got these little features here. This is, um, this is a cast piece. Um, oh, it looks like this is something here. It looks like, um, it looks like, see how it looks like a square, but, um, here, it's not very helpful to you, is it? But I don't see any sort of, um, it looks like this would be an ideal spot to put some sort of maker, maker stamp or mark, but, um, there's really nothing in there except for a continuation of this texture. But see how they have these little flower, flowerettes uh, in the background. And then you've got black and you've got like um, sort of, um, there's a metal coating to this that sort of makes it look almost multicolor. Uh, just a um, maybe a, not an aurora borealis, but something. Something is going on there, and then silver. So this is a good weight, um, and sort of like an oil on water is what that's what this reminds me of. Like a brush brass, or maybe um, it's darker though. Yeah, it sort of looks like just kind of reminds me of oil on uh on water hmm. uh, where it has that look but cool and it's a paisley uh shape there you go and oh this is fun what are you oh this is a longer necklace it's so funny because looking at this display area, it looks so dark to my eyes, but this is picking up um, the light and it's doing a good job, light coming in through the windows and it's go doing a good job to show you um, what it looks naturally like, the colors. Uh-oh, got an itch. Okay. So let's take a look. These feel, they sound like stone, don't they? She says to Donna, mm. don't they, Donna? Don't you out there, don't you hear that, you out there? All right, so let's go ahead um, and take a look. What is this? Wow, that's pretty cool. See, I thought these were all kind of too opaque, but not this one. Like glass, glass. Tina searches and scores. She finds the word glass in her brain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, these are glass. That's pretty cool. And I like that one is a trans, much more translucent. These are other pieces are darker and hard to see through, but I think you can. So this is really cool. This is glass and um, makes that nice sound. Maybe I should do ASMR. I've joked around about this before. Oh gosh, my husband said I should find books that aren't copywritten or the copyright has run out and I should read them. It was the worst of times. <laughs> it was the best of times. I think I got that backwards. <laughs> I don't think Charles Dickens is meant to be read in a, in a relaxing, soothing voice. Because <laughs> it wasn't a relaxing, soothing time. This is really cool. Um, I like this. It's a longer piece. All right. And that's the bottom of the bag. That's oh it. Oh my gosh, is that it? That's it for that little last piece. All right, everybody. Oh my gosh, we're at 39. So just to give you uh, an idea, this is um, this is what I've been uh, reading 
and finding out about the history of its um, costume jewelry. And it's written by uh, Sherry Simons. And it's a, it's a really cool book. Uh, it's got the history of uh, costume jewelry making, various posters from the time. And it's just got uh, lots of examples. So um, I'm going to need to reference it a heck of a lot more because it tells you about the various cuts and the various shapes. Um, but it's just full of just really beautiful costume pieces throughout the, um, the various eras of the manufacturing of costume pieces. All right, so I think this is a short video. Donna and I are just going to paw <laughs> through stuff and play with it. Um, we're not going to bring you with, though. <laughs> so y'all have fun. Uh, subscribe, like, um, tell your friends about it if you like it, if you like it. All right, so this is Tina and Donna, <laughs> and we're saying goodbye. This is probably, what is this the fourth video we've done today? So oh. I apologize if I'm more low-key um, than I have been. It's me nap time. I need to go to sleep and dream about <laughs> beautiful Aunt Winky jewelry. All right, everybody. Y'all take care. You have fun. And we'll see you again really soon. Yep. And so I'm um, saying goodbye. Donna, you saying goodbye? Goodbye. Just for now. All right. Toodles. <laughs>